yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly Why she had to go I don't know, she wouldn't say I did something wrong Now I long for yesterday Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. I'm playing Yesterday by The Beatles, specifically Paul McCartney. And uh, to sing this one properly, the same as him, you're going to need to take your guitar and you're going to need to down tune it by a whole step. I'll show you how to do that in the lesson itself. I've got tab for you for free for this one. So just join the Learn Guitar in London student area and uh, you can grab that. I really recommend that you do because it makes it a lot easier following along. So it's finger style. It's a lot of fun. Intermediate, especially if you want to sing and play it. Let's start learning it. Okay, so the first thing to know about this song is that I am not in standard tuning. So that means that what we're doing is with all six strings, we are loosening the tuning pegs to give a different set of notes. Now, I know a lot of you have electronic tuners, so that's what I'd suggest. I, I use Boss's tuner on my phone. Um, it's great because it's a chromatic tuner. So what that means is, is that any note that it hears, uh, it will it will tune to whatever note that it hears. It's good in many ways if you're a bit more intermediate, if you know what notes to tune to. Not so good if you're a beginner and you need to know what the notes are. Anyway, a chromatic tuner would be useful. If not, uh, I know on some tuning apps, you just want to be tuning it to what's known as a whole step lower. Okay, so a whole step down is often another term that's used. Anyway, I'll tell you what the notes of the strings are. So this thickest string E is tuned to D. The A string, what is normal, is down to G. The third string down, the D, is down to C. The G string is down to F. The B string is down to A. And the E string is also down to D. So once you've done your tuning and you've lowered that, and by the way, that's important if you want to play along with the Beatles. Uh, also, if you're a male singer, you may find that in standard tuning, without doing the down tuning, it's very high to sing. So down tuning is important. Now, do make sure you get the tab from the website because I'm going to be referencing the bars, etc. within that. Let's have a look at the first three bars of this song. As you can see, it's kind of the same sort of thing for most of that when the sing before the singing starts. Uh, so we're making a folk G, so that's second fret on the A string, third fret on the E string, and third fret also on the B and the thinnest D. And we're doing a picking pattern that is going to be common throughout the song, bar a few little changes. And that is bass with our thumb on the thickest string, or wherever the bass note needs to be, usually on the top four, st three strings. And then we're pinching, which means pulling three strings at the same time, the G, B, and E, the, the bottom three strings. So that is essentially the first two bars of the song. So that's bass, pinch, pinch, pinch. And then you do that four times. Then the singing starts. Yesterday. So just this, there's just a little change at the end of bar three. So we do this as normal. And then instead of doing another one, like we normally do three pinches, we do open on the thickest string to do this pass. And now I'll move into the next bar. Okay, so this is yesterday. All my troubles seem so. So that's that part. Okay, so sticking with the G, you've got the open string, you move to a bar chord on the second fret. So pressing down with the index finger, you don't need to do anything with the other fingers, but just to create these twos, you go bass, pinch, pinch. Okay, so you're getting the um, all the twos. 
Mm. Then change to this chord. Lift up the bar finger, but put down on second fret on the thickest string. Middle finger on second fret on G string, and ring finger on second fret on thinnest string. So you're all piled into the second fret there. Do a bass note of the thickest string, and then pinching the bottom strings. You can do that three times. Now on the tab, there is an optional note where you can slide this ring finger out to fret three whilst leaving the rest of the chord intact. Like so. Okay, but that's optional. You can just leave it like this. Okay, so. All my troubles seem so. I'll do the next two bars now. Far away. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Uh, second fret on the D string. You can also make an E minor if you find that easier, but really all we need is that second fret on the D string. Playing our thumb on that D, open strings, then thumb again, open strings, then lift up everything, play thumb on the D, and do the pinch. So it's pretty easy, right? Then move to a C chord, so that's first fret on B, second fret on D, and third fret on A. Bass note is the A string. So, same pinches, then lift up the index. And in fact, lift up everything, opens for those zeros. Then bass note D to a D7 chord. So that's first fret on the B string, second fret on the G and the E. So that bar is C open strings, D, okay, back to G, okay, so you go back to G, do a half bar, then thumb pinch, then second fret on the thickest string, leave the ring finger on fret three on the B, In the tab it's written to not include that E string, so it's just index and middle. Then leave the ring finger where it is, passing into the next bar. Just bring the index finger down to the D string, and the thickest string is what we're interested in as our bass note. And we're going to go bass note on the thickest, then pinching thumb, index and middle on the D, G and B string. Open on E, open on A, make an A chord and pinch the bottom three strings, then open A. A chord is second fret on B, D, B, G and D string. Okay, so I'll back up a little bit from where we came to the C chord. In fact, I'll go from the far away. So I'm doing all of line two, and I'm going to do bars five, six, seven and eight. I'll do it slowly, and you can either play along with me or rewind and watch to get the hang. Good. All right. Now we're going to move on to the next line. So we're going to go C and we're going to pinch that C with thumb on the A string, index, middle and ring. Yes. Yes. Then we're going to go back to our G and we're going to pinch with the bass note. So it's a four fingered pinch three times. Followed by three more pinches on just the thinnest strings. So it's... So we go C yesterday, yesterday, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to recap from bars 1 to 9 because I feel that that's a sort of quite a logical place because after that it does start to repeat quite a bit. So I'll do it really slowly, just a little bit of melody just so you know where I am from the G. See 
and then it goes round again. So this is a complete copy of bars one to nine, but with different words. Suddenly, I'm not half the man I used to be. And then it's all round the same. There's a shadow hanging G of me, passing out yesterday. Came G, G, G. So all up to came suddenly, that's that same G where we're putting the C chord in. And then we're doing the G with three four-fingered pinches, followed by three-finger pinches. Okay? Now, this next part, I'm going to do the next two bars. Why? So I was like again. Why she had to go? I don't. Okay, so let's break that down for you. So we're second fret on the A string and second fret on the G string. Okay, so like this. The bass note is the A string. And we're still doing that same pinch idea on the bottom three strings. So we do bass, pinch, pinch, pinch. Then this time we do the same thing, but with the little finger on the second fret on the E string. You can use these fingers if you prefer, but for some reason I prefer this more comfortable. So we've got this, the first three. Then second fret on D string, pinching the thinnest string. Hat. Then second fret on the thinnest string, two, pinching the D string again. Then third fret on A and E, pull those two strings, go. Then move that down so you're on second fret on the those two strings, and pinch those. Then play an open string on the thinnest. Had to go, I don't. Had to. bar we're on to a d7 no, she wouldn't say. okay so we're with our d7 and the only thing that's a little bit different with this d7 this time so that's first fret on the b second fret on the g and the e is that the bass note is a initially not d which it normally is for a d7 so we do our bass note then bass note d to our G chord again with our bass note pinch 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 C. then open on the E string so we're passing down we're then going to pretty much repeat everything that we just did so 17 18 and 19 are the same as 21 22 and 23 I did And on that day part, you're basically taking a G and you're pinching and holding it through, okay? So I'm gonna recap on, I suppose we could call that the, I suppose it's kind of like a chorus, really. Um, so bar 17. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say G. it repeats. I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker, but this is basically everything that we've done before. I'll stop when there's something new.
you can see there, it's just a complete repeat, okay? Now this is all the same until the ending. So bar 47 is where things get a little bit different. So we keep these threes held down left over from our G. We're not using any bass notes anymore and we're just gonna pinch those four times. One, two, three, four. Then slide this thing down to the second fret. You could also instantly do this as a bar chord. do it that way but I've been doing it this way because this is what's left over from our normal G. Then move that down to two, play that once and then slide the pinky finger out to fret three but leave the two down, do that three times. Then fret one on the B string, leave the pinky where it is and then put our G down and do two big pinches. So that outro, which is well worth learning because it's great. Okay. Enjoy.